And I don't think Hal worked on them either. So I'm 95% sure that was added in the 7.22B. I see. And they're worth half bounty and half XP now. All right, it's still garbage. I don't, I, I don't. And I'm not saying it's good. Now, if they spawn two in each lane. All right, that's really good. That's pretty good. That's right? pretty good. That's like having mega creeps. What if it's two? Or not mega creeps. Two out of the three lanes it spawns two. I think that's still passable. Passable. Okay. You're still giving a lot of gold so you, away. So the idea of it, you don't hate. It's just. No, I hate the idea. The execution right now. No, I hate the idea. <laughs> oh, okay. The idea isn't fun. It's it's you're, it's automatic, right? There's nothing to do about it. Right? It doesn't. It's artifact creeps. I love the artifact. It's creeps. artifact creeps. Yeah, <laughs> it's artifact creeps. They're they're reviving artifacts the wrong way. <laughs> Double stout shield on lycanthrope. Hmm. He's expecting a lot of pressure in this lane. It seems. Seems. I'm excited to see this the sniper support though. Thirty seconds. What do you build? Just a bunch of stat items. Build a bunch of stat items. You maybe consider going Midas with the cooldown, uh, and then you just buy. You could buy things like Veil into E Blade. Maybe I don't know. Is this a? Uh... I didn't get to see who's playing it. What position is Phoenix? Because this looks like, if they could make this work, a position three Phoenix, it doesn't look like. Actually, I can't tell. Ooh, this is, this is BSJ's signature hero. The Slarky Malarkey? The Slark. But look at Phoenix Egg with Shrapnel, with Medusa Ult. Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. It's really, it's, it's, really not, it's really hard for them to, to fight it into that. I mean, that's like one of the worst randoms. <laughs> like yeah. Get. But they do have like, Ways, I guess. Like you have a. It's not impossible. Yeah, you have a, you have a life stealer, and you have arc warden. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad, but it's I not. And the bad. name of the game for Funix team is to split push and try to distract, and rat, essentially. Okay, we're gonna see difficult. some musical lanes. They want this matchup instead. All right, it is a, core phoenix. No, no, he's supporting. How dare you? It's just uh That is yeah. a support Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer is just coming up here to Damn it. <laughs> it has lane. God, I got so excited. I mean, I have to say, in terms of like usually it's like an off lane hero, I guess traditionally. I guess if you're fly you play like position five, but of those types of heroes, I feel like Phoenix benefits the most from items, more like so much more than other heroes. It's insane. If you get like a Shiva's into Ags. You literally just can't kill that hero when he's in egg form. Very, very strong. And I think he's really underrated. I like him as a four, more than a three. If you get Midas, right? You gotta get the Midas. You don't even need, I don't mean, I, it depends on how the game is going, I guess. But um, if you have Midas, sure. But if you don't have Midas, then uh, also fine. You just farm really fast with fire spirits. I think you even take the talent. I guess in today's game, position four actually would fit perfectly, yeah. like you said, because they end up getting they a finally lot more have farm a, and experience than before. They finally have a real. They finally have a real uh, support. Yeah. Ooh, this is rough. This is a Seven this is a tri lane. <laughs> this is a melee tri lane. <laughs> Against a Slark. The Slark I mean, is having the time of its life. Slark is usually absolute garbage in Trilates. But, yeah, because it's melee. That's kind of nice. I think he's just going to go for a second level of Essence Shift, and then, like, if he trades, you know, a couple of times, like, they actually can't fight him. I think the moment he has, like, 15, 20, 15 to 20 Agi, this is too hard to trade. Oh, I forgot to mention, the new, the changes to Phoenix Ags actually... I thought it was really good before. Now it's like super. What did they change about it? So you can cast. Uh, oh, Sunray out of Sunray it. now. That's insane. It's actually ridiculous. It, looks so, it probably looks really clowny. I haven't seen it yet, but. And you can move it too. It's not like just in one position. Right. Well, there's going to be a lot of units for Team Funic. You're gonna have Lycan Wolves, you're gonna have Necro from him, you're gonna have Skeletons from Wraith King. Uh, 
I guess Arc Warden. I've seen Arc Wardens go Necro. I don't know if you do that this game, though. I don't think you want to do that. It's probably just the usual Maelstrom, like Hurricane Pikes. Yeah, in a game where you're expected to go for quite some time, and uh, you're against a hero like Medusa, I don't think you want to go Necro. I think the only time you ever go Necro is if you are so confident in your ability to control it, and you're really comfortable with it, then sure. But Or if you have zero late game versus yeah, the other team. Sure. That too. This, this dual lane is just winning the tri lane. It's so hard for them to punish the sniper because shrapnel is, oh, he doesn't even, there's not even shrapnel. <laughs> it's just right clicking. I mean, headshot's pretty annoying. I feel like that's a mistake. I think shrapnel would make this so, so this lane so difficult for the radiant side. Like, like exactly what just happened if they decide to run at your- What are his, uh, what did he level right now? Just headshot. Does he actually not have any shrapnel? Just headshot and uh, take aim. And they're still, and, and the th funny thing is they're, they're going on the Slark. I'm really surprised. I think if you would go for the Sniper, there's like nothing they can, they can mm -hmm. do. Well, Slark is taking a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, turned around. Wraith King. Wraith King. Doesn't have stun, I don't think. Oh, oh mango. he pops a mango. There oh. we go. And a crit. Down goes Slarky Malarky, but Lifesteal will pay for it. So Sniper, like, all right, I guess I'll take that XP. And all these creeps. Yeah, I, I really think not having shrapnel was a mistake, especially since you're playing support, right? And you're playing against melee heroes. Yeah, and you're playing against melee heroes. Better, because uh, if shrapnel was there, I think like Sark might still die, but you're you're gonna trade super hard. Mm -hmm. The bounty rune battles. Oh, stun. 2019. It's so funny that bounty runes now get to a point. Where everybody fights for them. Like, he will literally die consistently. It yeah. forces fights. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I really like that change, too. Because it definitely makes for a better viewing experience, right? Like, people are going to be fighting. That's what yeah. you want to see. It feel, It does have the air of kind of... Like, it's artificial. It's forced. But it, and it doesn't really matter, you know? Oh, fighting is fighting. Now they're really low. Be a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true though, right? Because no, it's true. Two levels of take aim really is not going to do much, and then there's still no I trap. Mean, what is the point of take aim if you're against all melee? <laughs> yeah. So now there's two headshot, two to take aim. I would have been okay if it was like two one two or something like that, or yeah, or two two one, but no shrapnel really hurts. It's just such a good ability. Regardless of like whether or not you're against melee or range, it's just such a good ability. Mm -hmm. Well, Medusa in the mid lane, 29 and five. Dire structures are fortified. Against Arc Warden, 31 and nine. So relatively even. I'm, I was a little surprised that Mystic Snake wasn't nerfed at all. Uh, the talent, I think, was reduced by 5%. Yeah, 5%. Which is nothing. I think Snake Doesn't, is fine. Is any, what, what is the other talent? Do you remember? I think it's like Stone Gaze duration. Does, two, two have you ever seen anybody take that? Yeah, people do take it on occasions. Huh. Uh-oh. Slark pops the wand. Still in a lot of trouble, though. Getting chased. Eating some trees. Got to pounce, but not off cooldown yet. That's the second death for him. Regeneration. So Spectre is uh, recuperating a little bit after kind of a disastrous start. Oof. Bulldog is free farming super hard. Not even close. 50 to 11. Yeah, that's quite the discrepancy. Oh. Well, it's funny because he's going against Lycan, which is one of his uh -oh. favorite heroes as well. As Lifestealer takes a tumble. So they had just killed Slark, and I guess they didn't gain any HP after that. He just came back and killed them. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Medusa attempting to get out of dodge. Oh, these are some great spirits. Yeah. They're so slow, they can't right fight. Click. <laughs> He's trying to go for it. Oh, Sunray is not enough. And Gonna get oh, more. No, no level six for Phoenix, so that means a double kill for the Radiance. That's pretty big because that's uh, almost, almost Midas. Dyer's middle tower is under. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, 
Warden, when Arc Warden was announced uh, in Dota 1, or not announced, but when he came out, because I, I stopped playing before he came out. Yeah, I did too. So I only read about him. It sounded so dumb, <laughs> the idea. I, I agree. Able to, like, double Midas. Double, double anything. It sounded so weird. And he's still kind of a weird hero, honestly. Definitely not for everyone. Slark's gonna continue to chase here in the bot lane. Oh, this is this is rough. Life Stealer is. Uh, oh, this is rough. Quite the low level doesn't have. Oh, we're gonna see shrapnel finally. There we go. And it's just the eventual death will be there. And BSJ does. He's ten stacks. You know. of essence shift. Two Parma Agi. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, Bulldog. Oh, that crit! Gonna get destroyed. And the crit certainly helped. BSJ again? Who did he kill this time? Fun. Lycan. No ult. Wow. I mean, in theory, Slark is decent against Lycan. With the pounce, as long as he can get the pounce off. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Phase boot Slark. I'm starting to see phase boot on a lot more uh, melee carries. I feel like phase boots is just on everybody now. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Right, the pounce is there as well. You get to see dark Spectre packed. one right click away. Oh, with Phoenix there, should ensure the and kill. Then, maybe even more. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Lycan is here. Oh, a lot of mana right now. The look at the fire spirits. Just protect it. 26 stacks of this <laughs> right now. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh sniper. Uh, take aim. Take aim, level 18, get him. Take, oh! oh. <laughs> All right. Assassinated. Oh my goodness. That is that is not great. Uh oh. For team five. Going in. Slark. Gets the E. Gets one. Oh. Gets the E. Other. Yes, he's going to die to dispersion here pretty soon. Oh, he needs to get it out of range of sight so he can regen. Nice, he jumps fine. out. He's fine. And he's fine. Wow. Oh my goodness. Nothing is going the way of Team Funic right now. And now he's he has to run. turn this around potentially. He can get a pounce off. Another four seconds for another one. All right, they're fine. They're fine. Huh, two levels of pounce. It's very surprising. Hmm. It scales like really terribly. Misclick? Eh, he probably just wants it to jump around faster. Nothing. That's Cat on the sniper, right? Yeah. Why don't you go clip that off of her stream? I want to see. I want to see that snipe from her perspective. Yeah, that would be nice. And mid lane, Ink doesn't disconnect and doesn't die. Very Congratulations, nice. sir. Very nice. Vlad's up on Bulldog. They're playing around the map really well right now. They're not, they don't need to fight together because they don't really do anything together. And uh, he's basically trading a tower on his own versus four heroes on the other side. And yeah. while this is happening, BSJ is getting, basically getting free farm. Wow, BSJ went Midas. Yeah. Okay, that's a little surprising. I, I agree with it because, you know, the, these games have a, a very similar trend always, right? It's just always really long. Yeah. Long enough to make your Midas pay off every time. Yeah, Midas does make sense. Yeah, and people aren't really able to punish you. Like they, they, they just, I mean, it allows you to share farm more easily, right? Sure. Because everybody on this team needs farm other than Phoenix, I suppose. There's assassination. That uh, will not be enough. Oof. There's a lot of health regen, too. But we're getting to the point now that once Arc Warden gets this Midas, he'll start ramping up, and you'll start to see a little bit more split push, I think. At least that should be the plan of attack for Team Funic. Arc Warden is gonna take a lot of time to yeah. equalize these lanes. I think like I think uh, Bulldog's team is just going to be, be better overall in, in lane shove. And the other issue is like Funic's team doesn't really have any space to farm. If Arc Warden, you know, keeps shoving out lanes, like no one's gonna have any items other than Arc Warden. And it makes it really hard to play because. If Arc Warden dies, like you, you guys just lose. So they're in a really weird spot right now. This, this, they basically need to win like some fights so that they can move out and then take take a tower or two, so they have more locations to farm. 
Right now they're like really choked up in their in their base. BSJ, despite being in the off lane and dying twice, is top of the net worth. Well, he was, now he is again. Minus, uh, definitely working out in his favor right now. And it's just gonna amplify things. Helm of the Dominator on Lycan, so he has three wolves now, Eosin. Hmm. Two of his own and an alpha wolf. That's right, the alpha. See, when you get the alpha wolf, in theory, if lore is correct, the alpha should be the one controlling the other wolves. But if Lycan... And then Lycan is controlling the alpha. You but what does, what does that make him then? The alpha alpha. The alpha alpha. Yeah, the A2. <laughs> it's in the lore. You can look it up on the Wikipedia, guys, if you're interested. Definitely didn't just make that up. <laughs> Who's gonna bite that? <laughs> Who's gonna bite that? Don't bait? give it away. Come on. Right, take the tier one top now. Oh yeah, that mystic snake. Mm. What a skill. Uh oh, oh, he's, he's gonna have run. To pop his ult. Is he stuck? Ooh, he's in a weird spot. He's, he's, he's not stuck. He's going for them. He's just in a weird, really weird spot. Uh, this is like I've seen the story before. You know, he just pops it and runs away. He's making space though. That's there's, four there's years. There's actually no no running or no no chase. Although I, what I, what I do want to see though is uh, Phantom Lancer chasing, and then you see the Phantom Rush go like uh, yeah. all the way across the screen. <laughs> that's always really funny. Yeah, that's a good one. It did force four heroes to the top lane, though. Blink Dagger now on BSJ. Are you surprised by that? That one I'm a little surprised by. Instead of Shadow Blade? Because that means he's not nearly as good at killing Arc Warden later in the game. I wonder why. His, uh... The only thing I can think of is it, it sets up the pounce a little bit easier onto Lycan. Yeah, but you... I don't know. It's... I don't, I don't really like it because, uh... You're just, you're just so weak. You're like paper. I'm sorry. But, I mean, he is a Slark expert, so this is definitely not his first time. He definitely yeah. knows. I mean, when Slark was first put into Dota 2, Blink was the main item. It was like 50-50, I guess. Blink and Shadow Blade. It was just game dependent. And then it went heavy Shadow Blade. They're trying to find Spectre, but TPN from Arc Warden. Is, are you going to be able to turn this thing around? Yep. They are they are chasing, but they're outnumbered here. Where's the rest of the team? Slark, the blink dagger, not really doing anything. <laughs> He's menacing. That's all. That's all that matters. Life still jumps into a creep. We'll get all his mana stolen. Oh, oh do so. Oh. Hops the reincarnation. That's actually really big because reincarnation is not going to be up for five minutes. Oh, he's on a dewarding mission. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Carry, carry Slarks need to do this more. Oh, Lycan dies in the top lane. So trying to do what we talked about, the split pushing, and he does a pretty good job as the tier two is almost dead, but he well, isn't quite able you don't, to. You don't really want to die for it. Yeah. Lycan's a hero. We've seen him run away a few times, so that time not, not successful. He must have been really low, because I don't really see how a Medusa is able to kill you. Unless you're super low and then you get Giga snaked. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Oh, the bubble. Oh, Arc Warden turtling feels so. Oh, God, zero. Like his whole existence is to make you miserable. Very it has true. like the techies effect to some degree. Very true. Very true. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Support yeah. Life Stealer. Oh, this feels so bad. Yeah. Brown Boots Blightstone. I mean, we kind of talked about this in the last game that I was picked. Feels like it's just an infest. <laughs> you're there for the burst damage, and then you're like, eh. I don't. I don't think you. I don't think like. I think like the mistake is probably sitting around in lane and doing nothing. I, I think like your your lane presence is so bad. Anyways, you're better off just hitting creeps and getting farmed too. What like in jungle? In jungle, yeah. Because if you think about it, it's a sad life. If you sit in jungle and you just hit creeps, you're actually at least being more productive than yeah. sitting in lane and leeching. And, and leeching, yeah, it, it actually true. doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it's just ever since that iron talent was deleted, you know, 
It's a sad well, life. And the experience was, what was it, cut in half or something? It was gutted. And gold? I've, I've been jungling a lot recently. R with who? It doesn't matter. Whatever I, whatever I <laughs> random. <laughs> what? Look. So How do you jungle with anyone? Okay, so I've actually gotten really good at this. It's still not very good, but I've, I've gotten really good at it. And uh, what happens is, so sometimes, you know, when I'm really tired and I just want to play a game of Dota. I want to play a single player game of Dota. I go on my Smurf. No, 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 that's not even it. I go on my Smurf, right? And I uh, queue up a game and I'll random my first hero, right? So I'll random a hero and no matter what hero it is, for some reason, people will never let you play the lane that you want to play in. <laughs> So I, yeah. I'm, I just got to go to the jungle, right? So I've gotten very creative in my jungling tactics. Um, one of them was Earthshaker. Uh, whenever I'm playing Dire. The hell? The, Earthshaker jungle? On the left, of the, the camp left of the fountain, right? You can cut a tree on the bottom left of that camp so that they can, you can funnel them through and they only get hit by one at a time. Mm, and okay. then you can, you can actually jungle pretty quickly. It wasn't like That's that. That's choke slow. point jungling. Choke point jungling, yeah. Okay. Looks like Sniper will die here. Earthshaker choke point jungle. It's actually not that bad. Because you can. Team, you can... Uh, happy about it? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, I didn't get reported that game <laughs> because the guy, because the guy who stole my lane picked Bristle back, and he went against the tri lane and went zero and nine in the first twelve minutes, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone blamed him first. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't blame you. For they did not blame alone? me. They did not blame me. Mm. Radiant structure. I take it you lost that game. Of course we lost that game. Okay. But I had a blast. I learned a lot about the jungle. That's good to hear. At least you had fun, you know? Yeah. At the expense of your whole team. No, no, no. You gotta you got stop putting it that way. I'm not a, an intentional <laughs> thrower. All right? I mean... I random Earthshaker and I said, I yeah. want to off lane, right? Yeah, that's, but you know fine. what you're getting... Okay, this is your smurf, by the way. Yeah. That in itself is disgusting to me to hear. Look, you have a smurf that's why I random and I, use it. and I play with 30% of my brain power. That's how I balance it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm in that level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now you understand. <laughs> <laughs> See, the difference is uh, I'm fortunate and there's some things that this is not good for, but if they recognize you, they'll let you have your lane. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They'll let me lane wherever I want with whatever hero. So that's. Look, I feel bad about it too, but honestly, I justify it because my win rate is atrocious on my Smurf. I'm supposed to be winning, but I lose like almost every game. Is that supposed to be reassuring? I don't understand. No, not at all. <laughs> we lose for other reasons, not me. There's like just a sigh of relief of, oh, at least this wasn't my main account. Yeah, for him, but it's at the expense of his entire team. That's my point. Dude, you're making me a villain, man. I'm gonna you be are. A, I'm going to be a front page sure. Dota Reddit. <laughs> Eosin's a Smurfer. What is he doing? Oh. You wouldn't be the only one, though. Everyone, look, everyone does it. That's not true. I don't smurf. Look, I know you have a smurf. Suns fan, not. our hero. Suns fan? I, I, I have an alt account that I use just because of workshop stuff. I it's guarantee not, I you, you had a smurf for Counter Strike at some point. Counter Strike? No, I did not. I don't believe. See assassination here. We're gonna have a Ugh. big juicy fight. Spectre might take a tumble. It's gonna be pretty close. Oh, they end up getting hurt. It's like Slark popped his ult for that one. And here comes the sun ray. Man, look at such a ridiculous. They actually ability. can't fight. Like, what do they do? They just have to run yeah, away. They, They've they been doing nothing run. but running. They just don't have the items to sustain anything right now. Any of these fights. So it's a two for oh, nothing. Oh, top lane though. There's uh, some rat going on. Oh, okay. This is what they need to do. Yeah. This is exactly. And, uh, what they need. The pound will uh, keep him in place though, and uh, he's dead. So a triple kill across the map for PL. Pretty nice. They don't push any objective, but you know. You're not, uh, Radiant isn't exactly pulling ahead much further. Anyway, back to our normal discussion yeah. here, Aosin, about not the game. Okay. I did not have a, a Smurf in Counter-Strike because <laughs> when I was a quote-unquote professional player in Counter-Strike, yeah. there was no matchmaking. Uh, okay. So it, it was matter. all like in-house leagues. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So there's no I point. I thought I played CSGO with you, though. We were oh, like, yeah, but I, I wasn't professional. You were like double AK and we were all like gold Nova 1. Oh, man, yeah, that was I, a good time. I, I didn't have a Smurf back then either. <sighs> I remember playing Counter Strike with you. That was actually so funny. It was. It we were was so fun. bad. <laughs> I would rage so hard. <laughs> <laughs> we were so bad. I would just hear you yelling at us, and I'm just like, man, this is hilarious. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, it's tough love. Yeah. That's the it's okay. strategy. I, I still would. don't know what I do in most of these games. Even in Dota, I don't even know what's happening. I get yelled at a lot in all my games, actually. Smurf or not, I get yelled at. <laughs> That's Dota. That's Dota. Although I will say, I think Counter-Strike's a more toxic game. Really? Yeah. 
had a long think about this one. Mm. And that's, Ooh. there's a lot of reasons for that. A Slark will Get mitigate dark. some damage there. This is such an ugly inventory. Ooh, where's the haunt? What's going on oh. here? Okay, the sniper gets taken out. Of course, support Ooh. sniper, but it's a kill. The specter is actually really oh. big. Specter chasing the phoenix. That's a radiance, Yasha. All right. Uh oh. Looks like she uh -oh. will die, but she did take down two with her and did a lot of damage to some of the cores. And now Team Funic might need to might need to back up here. Double Although damage. the Arc Warden is chasing a bit. Oh. With the life. Is this that is a... that's the lichen? So Arc Warden has Mjolnir. Oh boy, they stayed a little bit too long. Mm. They gotta know. You know, I don't know. This, you know, this game is kind of weird because like they're Bulldog's team is like winning these team fights, but I, I just feel like Funix's team actually has the potential to just rat all game. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's we talked about that pregame. That's the one way to win. The, it just feels really bad because like. Your Spectre is really farm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say really farm, but like farmed enough to take a good fight. And uh, unfortunately, the biggest issue is the four and five are really useless, right? Because like on the other side, um, like look, if you look at the four and fives from both sides, they're all really poor. But at least Phoenix and Sniper actually do something. Lifestealer yeah. and Wraith King are just so bad. They don't really do anything. Wraith King, I Wraith would King, put in that category. Life Stealer, I agree, is Life Stealer is really useless. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, Wraith, Wraith King it feels really bad in this game because you're playing support and you're against uh, Medusa and Diffusal PL. So like, in theory, it doesn't feel you know that bad because at least you provide aura. But you're you're actually just like feeding. you know how you provide an aura for your team if you're Life Stealer. You take over an ancient creep. Hmm? Wow, that's right. We're gonna see some action here, Lycan. Will be the trade for the sniper a little bit earlier. Treasures. Not what you want to see if you're. Yeah, really, really. You're on the radiant. Not. Okay, PL. Boots of travel. That's a butterfly in Medusa. To go along yeah. with the Aegis and Manta. Uh oh. They're dealing a lot of damage to her. You don't want to waste the Aegis like this, and nobody's even close to Medusa right now, so that's going to be the Aegis. I think I think, I think think uh, they have to run, because there's going to be... Yeah, I don't know if they can kill TPs, her again. Yeah. Look, there's even a Stark uh, on the BSJ's back. BSJ's coming. And then uh, Phoenix in the back. And initiate onto the Life Stealer, right, who well, is just a... going to die. He's just a piece of meat. Yeah, he just, yeah. he's just there to be fed. Oh, man, Stark. and look at this. Some great spirits. Oh, oh and... I get it. Oh, mm. not enough. All right. Arc Warden gets credit for that kill. Yeah, that's kind of like the problem with the uh, with the the four Phoenix. Is he's just like so under leveled. If that was a level two egg, that's like I'm pretty sure he gets it off. Yeah, the level one egg is really bad. It's really bad. Uh oh. That's why Midas is so good on that hero. Mm -hmm. Get a fast twelve, or better yet, just buy every tome. Yeah. Uh, like that's actually one of the heroes where it's kind of worth it. You just use it every five minutes? Just use it every, every yeah, just keep using it. Yeah, no, I agree. It's, it's so beneficial for your hero is like, uh, it's a very unique hero, too. That's what I like about him. Phoenix? Him or her? It? It? I don't know. I don't know what Phoenix is. A bird. Oh, birds have sexes. I don't know if you knew that. Really? They're not asexual, believe it or not. <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Manta style now on Spectre. I mean, if there was ever a bird that could avoid needing a gender, I think the one that just come like when it dies, Woodpecker? it spawns its egg. Yeah, it's uh, the yeah. Phoenix. You know? no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> Spectre has his sights on an MKB next. That's to counter the, the butterfly. butterfly and Medusa. Pew pew. Oh man, this is some free gold right here. Mm. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's so tanky. Ooh, okay, okay. That's, that's okay. Okay. That's a nice move. How much, does it give like 200 gold, I wanna say? 150 maybe? I play Arc Warden so little. 
And I play against it so little that I don't even know. It is. It's definitely. I feel like it's either 150 or 300. 300? Okay. That's quite the range. Am I thinking about Spirit Bear? Spirit Bear is definitely 300. Yeah, Spirit Bear is a lot. I'll say 250. All right, let's find out if the price is right. Let's find out <laughs> by not looking it up. You know, you know, uh, you know, like the the trivia while you wait in queue. Yeah. A lot of them are actually like kind of hard because it's not like something you really. I hate the to, movement speed ones. Yeah, like They're the movement so speed one, or sometimes like the the attribute one is usually like something you can deduce. Yeah. But sometimes they're like really random, like really. I want to say like really. Yeah, really there's random, some of them that I didn't really realize. Like it's an agility different. hero that has more int and int gain than agility. It's like, yeah. What the heck? And I think, uh, you know, Arc Warden Bounty is one of them. Just, you know it's a lot, but you just don't know how much is a lot. <laughs> ah, yes, here we go. More ratting. Arc Warden Gaming, boys. They don't have creeps there, though. Oh, oh man. Can't do a whole lot. Oh, right, Spectre, Spectre is, is dead. Spectre is dead. Buyback available, though. Yeah, but Haunt is gone, so it's kind of... Gotcha! Kind of not good. Oh, they're going to find a potential like and kill. Are they? No. Nope. I've oh, seen, he's gonna run right into them. I've seen this story time and time again. No. Oh, <laughs> I was so close. All right. Nah, it, it, it wasn't even close because uh, pounce now cancels TP. So. Did did he pounce? Yeah, he pounced. Oh, okay. That's why. It, uh, Whoa! <laughs> it wasn't even close. <laughs> he was like, I thought oh, it was just uh, just dying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, face boots. <laughs> this feels so bad. Yeah, life says. Life like, life is actually. <laughs> this uh, is the one time it's like this one pick is so bad. It's very no. Life, life stealer, legitimately feels like a mega creep here. Look, he, <laughs> look, he's watching his core die. He actually can't do anything. He's watching his core die, and that's it. I can rage. Hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, Phoenix ults. All right. Wow, they are diving really deep here. Uh, uh, okay. Well, they're getting tower at the very least. I mean, what I tell you, I called it, man, 2-0. <laughs> yep, you sure did. <laughs> the other way. Wait, did I not mention that? <laughs> you got the score right, I got the team right. It evens out. That makes you a good casting player. That's how that works, right? Yeah, that is how it works. And that's a full lane of racks, and they could probably oh, still fuck it. Wait, well, they lose the Phoenix, though. They lose the Phoenix, yeah. And the Lycan just running around, and he finally gets pounced on, and that is oh. a great counter to our boy, our boy Lycan. Oh, man. I mean, this game might just end here pretty soon. I mean, the fact that, yeah, Spectre is just okay. dead, has buyback and haunt. No, I think, uh, I, I don't think he can fight this. Damn, that range is sick. <laughs> I think if they really wanted to, yeah, PL can just TP back and TP back in again. Let's double TP. I'm gonna do a fake back here. Kind of hard to fake back here because uh, the sniper is really low. So is that 13 permanent agility, I believe, and 16? Uh, yes, yeah, that's 16 current. That's pretty good. Yeah, not too shabby. Maybe, maybe this is how you have to play Sark now. You just more aggressive as an no, off laner. No, more like just don't fight. You don't do anything. You just keep you farming, don't. keep farming. Oh, oh, Sniper died. Did the male shoot the... him off a of star? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's what he's there for. It's fine. Like, he only showed up when there was, like, overwhelming strength on his side. And then he just goes back to farming and doesn't actually commit to anything uh, other than picking off people with pounce. And then he uh, fights when there's Echo Saber and Scott. All right, this is the last stand for the Radiant. Egg? Egg is up. Wait, I, wait, I see no Lifestealer in someone. Lifestealer, where are you? Dead. He died and buy, bought back. Got to be really careful about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, this is actually mega creep mode. Oh, Spectre's dead again. <laughs> Still hasn't used the buyback. Pretty much has to here, but they're just going to call no. it GG. There's actually nothing he can do. Like, he buys back, but he has no team. The, there's no there's no fighting force on his side. So Phoenix was good, but I don't really think it made that much. I don't think I don't think so either. <laughs>